how's it going? Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I want to take a look at the uh, 3D printer nozzle. I bought these one from AliExpress. I want to take a look at how they are, okay? So first you're going to see some uh, close-up shot to these nozzle. And secondly, I'm going to do some measurement to see if they are actually what they are. Uh, these are brass, uh, just normal brass. And they are very, very decent price on AliExpress. I'm going to put the link down in the description. If you want to support me uh, through the channel, you can buy these nozzle in the affiliate links uh, down below. To take a measurement of the orifice of the nozzle, I put it on to the Shadowcraft machine. Some people may call it a different name for it, but I call it Shadowcraft because of the fact that uh, we take measurement of the object by measuring the shadow of that object using light. So as you can see here, the light shining through the object and the shadow appears behind it, which is enlarged onto the screen. As you can see there, that little tiny dot is the orifice of the nozzle. And in order to make a good measurement, I have to make it in focus. I have to make the object appears to be in focus. And that's taking me some time. I zoom in in and out because I want to. I want you to see the focus of that object. And you can see the the vertical line and the horizontal line for us to basically set up the anchor, uh, if you will, you know. And then I'm gonna reset that anchor at zero. I'm gonna move that object in horizontal line. When it passed that, I can take the measurement of that orifice, of that white circle there, 10,000 of an inch. So I can basically, I forgot to turn it into millimeters. There's a button there I, I can press, so you can see it in millimeters. But anyway, I forgot to do that. As you can see, that is 10,000 of an inch. That equates to roughly about a little bit more than 250 microns. So 0 0.260 uh, millimeters, uh, if you convert that inch into millimeters. So yeah, the, the nozzle pretty right on, just a tiny bit bigger than 250 micron, 0 0.25. Same thing here, there's another machine that I can use to check that, but this one is standing on a table instead of like horizontally. It's still small there, you can see a tiny bit of that white dot there. Same idea, and we measure it, it still appears to be there. It's the same idea, the machine gonna spit out some number here for us at 10,510. So that equates to about 266 micron, so 0 0.266 millimeters. A little bit tiny bigger than 250, 0 0.25. Yeah, but that's pretty good so far. So I like it. Yeah, anyway, so. Here I have a different kind of nozzle. They call CHT High Flow. The CHT High Flow nozzle features some sort of like insert at the back that separates the nozzle into three chamber so it can retain more heat. It can transfer more heat efficiently to the filament. It's supposed to be better and I have this one on my machine and it, it's pretty good so far. And I bought this one from the same place as well, Big 3 Tech on AliExpress. Cost me a couple of bucks for this type of nozzle. It, I think it's it's better than regular nozzle. It claims to be 0 0.4 millimeters. I could not check for the size of the nozzle by shining the light through it. But what I'm doing here is that shining the light onto the nozzle itself and then I got the reflection of that imprinted onto the shadow grab machine. So what you see here is the reflection of that. I have to make the part uh, appears to be in focus as well and you see here is the tip of that nozzle. The black circle is the orifice, and I reset the machine into zero for both X and Y and then I move the part horizontally in order to check for the diameter of that circle there. It appears to be almost as 15,000 of an inch. If I calculate that into millimeters, it's 0 0.381 millimeters. 
and this time I got the nozzle where it's a um, tiny bit smaller than what they claim to be. I don't know whether I should put that into my slicer setting or firmware settings in my printer config, uh, the size of the nozzle. I'm not sure I should do that, but there's a way to adjust the extrusion multiplier or extrusion factor inside a clipper machine. So either I can do that or I can put a different kind of measure size for that nozzle. I don't know. All right, so what do you think? Drop it down in the comment section below. Uh, what do you think about that? Should I do that or should I just uh, tune the extrusion multiplier? Okay, so that's it for today. Hope you like the videos. If you like it, please remember to give me a thumb up. Really appreciate it. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.